My name's my name's Adam, and I'm uh, directing the excavations at the site. And uh, this is we've we've been here for three weeks now, Whoa. and what we've been doing is digging the soil out and taking it all back to the old days, the old times in 1880, when the Kelly gang were involved in a siege with the police who came from the train station over there, and there was a shootout, a gun battle that lasted for 12 hours, and it resulted in the end of the Kelly gang, and the capture of Ned Kelly, and the unfortunate death of three members of the Kelly gang, and two other um, of the hostages that were, were held by the gang in this inn on this site. So what we have here are the foundations, only the bottom bit, the last bit of the building, of, of three different buildings. The, the, the brick one I'm standing on here, that's later. That's the later building. So the little bits of burnt black soil you've got around here, that's the original inn from 128 years ago. And so our job is to excavate this as slowly and as carefully as we can to get as much information out of the site as we can so that we can add our little bit of contribution, our help and information to this great story, and the Ned Kelly story, which is one of the most famous historic stories of, um, of Australia's recent history. And what are the stuff we're getting out of here? Well, we're getting lots of burnt glass and old nails and burnt bits of lead and the occasional bullet and the occasional cartridge, all relating to the fire that ended the siege and also the gun battle that uh, characterized the whole siege. So we've got one more week here. And we're going to try and spend as much... We're finishing up today for a long weekend, but we're, next week uh, we'll be heading back here and we'll be trying to excavate as much as we can so that we can walk away from here and we've got all the information that we can possibly get out of the soils and out of the artefacts on site. And we found some pretty... Well, it's all been interesting. It's been a great project. And uh, we've managed to get quite a bit of community interest as well, which is good.